Hello everybody, Slam Jam Blades here. In this video, we are going to be doing a quick unboxing and first impressions of this knife. Um, we will be using this Hinderer XM18 that I just did a scale swap on. And <laughs> it is just comical how thick the scale is, but it does look pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's get into here. Let's get into it. Tempest Knives. This will be my first knife from them. Let's see. Yes, the Jetstream and 154CM and Titanium. Very nice. Just want to mention, I think I do need to sharpen this up. It's not dull or anything, but it's definitely not the sliciest thing I've ever uh, handled. I know it's a thick blade stock, but I feel like I can expect a little more from it. All right, let's get into this. So this is a used product. Any branding on here? Nope, just a cloth. Tempest Knives. We stand behind our products. See full warranty on our website. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, just wasn't pushed in all the way. All right, let's slide this thing out of here. Ooh, first of all, hmm texturing on that titanium the milling okay so starting off we have a titanium milled pocket clip which actually has pretty decent depth on here they actually put it at the very back so i can appreciate that um let's see back spacer that gives you a lanyard loop or a standoff for a lanyard it is reversible, and you get a filler tab that is also textured. As you can see, Tempest um, Pivot. You have a, let's see, is that a T8? Yeah, that looked small, but it is a T8. Very nice so far. So you get a flipper and an opening hole with a small cutout or fuller. Let's start with the flipper tab. And once again, this is not brand new. Um, it's not super used, but you know, it might have a little bit of gunk in it by possibly. So let's check it out. Okay. That is sick. The, the flipping action. Pretty, pretty big knife. Um, I don't think it's eight inches. Let's see, definitely get a full four finger grip. You can choke up a bit. Good jimping as far as you really would need it, unless you do something like this. Um, this blade shape, it's not a drop, I, I guess it's most, you could say it's a spear point. That is sharp. I think this hasn't had any use, I believe, if I can remember what the seller said. But yeah, that is a crazy looking blade shape. Um, not super thin blade stock, I'd say that's about average, if you know what I'm saying. Um, you get a nested, you get nested liners with an inset liner lock, so it's pretty sleek. Good lock bar access. They cut it back pretty far, and this is very smooth, so I can imagine it's uh, going to be nice on the finger. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Try the flipper one more time. Ooh, that is some good action. I'll do a very low-pressure flip. Oh, got to move your finger. Very good. I don't think you could fail that if you wanted to, unless it hits your finger. Nope. All right, that action is nice. Let's try fuller reverse flick. Yeah, flies out. Opening hole, reverse flick. Yep. Thumb flick. Yep, just as good as any other opening hole. It's not a super, yeah, it's not a, it's a decent detent for sure. It's, it's not super heavy. No pivot lash at all. That flipper is clean. Nice. So I usually, a thumb flicking, I wouldn't say is my favorite method. Um, but you can still definitely do it on here. A little wrist sends it flying. Let's try just thumb right now. Okay, that is nice. So the action on here, I'll try to do it as little as possible. Very, very smooth. I'm sure it would drop shut if I, yeah. Wow. I've heard about this thing, 
plenty of times, but I finally found one uh, on Blade Binge for a solid price, and I had to go for it. That is nice, man. Let's see. Let's do a overall length real quick. Oh, eight, eight inches on the dot, okay. Um, blade link is blade length is three and a half, and then cutting edge just about three and a half as well, a little bit less. So definitely over three inches, but you can I could just tell by looking at it. That is nice. Lock bar access is definitely good. Don't feel any hot spots, just grabbing it tightly right off the bat. Pocket clip is in a good spot. Um, let's see. Yeah, it definitely could be cleaned out a little bit, but the action is so perfect. Oh, man. That is beautiful, honestly. You get a little Tempest logo right here, which is just that tornado. And then no other branding or um, information on the blade. Super clean knife. And I guess that this weighs... I would say like 3.8 to 4.2. Where's my scale? Let's see. A little dusty. So 3.8 to 4.2. I'll just say four. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, that, that makes sense. I was giving it a little bit of a... I was being a little bit too nice on the weight. So 4.9 ounces... Let's try that one more time, just to make sure. 4.9, yep. All right, well that is respectable for sure. Um, what else do we have here? I think that's about it. Um, I will cut a little bit of paper here and we will be done. Got an index card. I'm sure this is gonna be slicey. Yeah, yeah, no, oh my. That is beautiful. That is the Tempest Knives Jetstream. Beautiful knife. Um, I mean, right off the bat, I would recommend this if you find it on the secondary market. I don't think they have any for sale, um, brand new. I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure about um, different versions of this knife, but if they do have uh, any, if there's any links I can provide, they will be in the comments below. So just check that out. And that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Peace.